Hi girls and guys. So today we're going to review um, and do a little swatch on this plate right here. It's CJS Clear Jelly Stamper um, Plate 30. Um, and it's just full of really tiny little sweet birds on here. Uh, I believe there's five different images and this is a teeny teeny little branch that you can use if you want to. So we're going to go ahead um, and I it came like you know, like it usually does with this blue film on it that obviously I already took off. And then it was in this little, you know, plastic sleeve. It came, oops, hello. <laughs> there you go, it came in that. Okay, so anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do one of these little birds. Um, and just to give you, here's a little idea of, you know, one that I did. Um, I used one of my other clear jelly stamping plates that I've already reviewed that has a little cherry blossom on it and so I put one of the little birds on that so it turned out real cute I think um, and then also did another one on this I'd seen this somewhere and so I wanted to do this and this is one of the birds that's on there as well and I think it's really cute so hopefully you can see that good um, so that one, and then once again, in case I didn't have the light good enough, that one there too. Okay, all right, so anyway, let's get started. And so I've already got this one yellow, um, and I put that teeny little branch on here to start with. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and do, this little bird up here is the one we're gonna swatch right now. So there's, as you can see, it ha this has a lot of, you know, images to layer. It's got five. And if you want to skip one of these, like, because they're almost full coverage, all three of these here, you know, you could. You just have to kind of play with it and see what you think. So we're going to go ahead and do this one now. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start with this blue. And I'm using Born Pretty um, stamping polishes today. It's one of my favorites that I use. And we're using the Clear Jelly Stamping, my big bling that's well loved and worn. And we're gonna go ahead, and I'm swiping it this way to so I don't get a void. You know, you just have to figure out what works best for you that way, because some of the images, you know, are easier to get, you know, without any little missing spots. So that's that little little guy there. And so we're gonna go ahead and put him right about there you know and it depends on if you're gonna have feet you know legs whatever um, on if you set him right in the branch or not so I am gonna add um, some little you know legs on there and hopefully I didn't go too close to the branch you can always if you want to like I did on this one here I started out with feet and I just did the feet um, so we'll do that and there we go. Oh, that was Bean coughing, by the way, my little chihuahua. Sorry about that. Bean, quit stretching. I don't know why he does. Keeps on doing it. <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay. <laughs> Enough real life, huh? Okay. And so there we go. There's our second image right there. Second layer going over that image and we're going to put that right over this there okay so see what I mean about it almost completely covers on these first three images so you could skip one if you wanted to you know especially if you're wanting one of the colors to or put the one you really want on the last you know full one. Um, okay, so then next we're going to go with silver on this. Okay, so this is what we got done so far. So we did the blue, we did the teal, now we're doing the silver. Okay, and it gets a little less, you know, on the, not this one necessarily, but the last two. So it's not as much coverage. Okay. Alright, so let me get off what I don't want. There we go. And so there you can see that one. I hope. 
that silver one. So we'll just put that over this one, right over it. So it's gonna be upside down, sorry, but there we go. Okay. And see that silver covers most of them. You see some of that bluish, you know, the bluish or tealish kind of showing through, but it covers it up pretty good. So if you want to skip that one, you know, you could skip that one. Okay, so the next one here, um, and I and you know you could have like skipped this one that I just did in the silver, you know, or done it a different color, and then do the silver in this one too, and then the black on the very last one. That's what I probably would have done. But now I think I'm going to add back in something. What do I want? I think I want to see more of the teal. So I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do the teal again on this one right here. Now this one's gonna add some little skinny, you know, legs, feet, whatever, on it. So let's do that. Okay. And we're gonna do that, I hope you can see it, like that. And I just press, you know, a few seconds and then just kind of roll gently from one side. And generally I don't have any trouble you know, with something coming off or whatever. Okay, so, um, hmm, alrighty then, <laughs> let's go with the black now. So we're gonna do the black for the very last image. And the last image is this one right here, right there. And there's a teeny eyeball in that. So you wanna line that, you know, up where you think the eye is supposed to go. Okay, and so I'm going to sweep it the opposite direction this time, and then take off what we don't want. And so it doesn't look like much, but that's going to be, that's our last one. So you want to, you know, line that one up best you can. Okay, let me try and turn it around here. There we go. Okay. It looks like I still had something on my stamper, so it's okay. You can clean that off. So that's that. That's our little bird. If you wanted to add flowers coming down, you know, from this, you could. Um, that's why I put it in the middle. Um, and, you know, if you, you know, like I did on this one, and if you you know, really love birds like I do, then I would say this is probably a must-have um, plate. Uh, I just love the cute little birds on it. And um, so, yeah, you could add leaves on this if you wanted to at this point. We don't have any of that on this plate, but I'm sure you have other plates where you do have it. And then the rest of these birds on here, I went ahead and I um, stamped them on my lint roller so let's go from, so this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna go from my favorites to the least favorite of mine on this, on this plate. So my favorite would be this one here. And this one is where the bird is looking over its shoulder. And I also like that color combination too, I found. And that takes some practice to figure out what you like. Okay, so the bird looking over its shoulder is this one right here. That one's the one. That's this one right here, that first one. Okay, and then I did the same one here with some different colors. And by the way, it doesn't come with feet or legs on it, but I wanted to have, be able to have legs, so I just took it off of this top image. I just you know went over it with just the legs part in black and added it, pretty easy to do. Um, this, you know, you'd leave it like that without the feet if you were going to set it on, I don't know, a nest or, a, you know, something you didn't need the feet showing. And then this one here, I love this one too. This one, it's facing, you know, one direction. And that one is this top one that we just uh, swatched out on the nail. So that's this one right here. And here's it in a different color combination. And then the next one is this bottom one, a um, little bit bigger bird. All these images go with this one bird. 
Um, anyway, so I did this one. I like I did it in two different colors, as you can see. I like the blues the best in this particular one. Um, and then this one is the flying bird. And that one is this image right here. And then this is the last one. Um, and I don't know if it's a cardinal or it's supposed to be a woodpecker or a cardinal or whatever. But anyway, I like it okay, but it's not my favorite. It's my least favorite. So that's in two different color combinations. I know I probably didn't pick the best combination of colors, but that's this little fat bird right there. So that's that one right there. So, um, so once again, oh, and I did some of them up here too, but I didn't know if you'd be able to see it good enough, so I, I did them down here. So back here, so that's in color combinations. I really like these two for color combinations. Um, and I like these, I like these two, but I probably, I don't know, I might lean a little more towards that one. And then I definitely lean more towards the blue than that, but they're both good. And you just have to figure out what you like that way. And this one's okay. It might have been better in some different colors. And then these guys definitely probably would have been better in different colors. Anyway, so that's all of them. And I hope that helped. So if you would please like and subscribe. And there you go. That's just to show you how you can use them. If you would please like and subscribe and click on the bell icon so you'll get a notice for my next new video, which will be soon because I have four of the big clear jelly stampers to review and swatch really soon. So thanks again. Bye guys.